Pet Plus Core Air. Behind me, you're looking at a plaster cast of an ancient Greek statue dating from around 530 BC and found late in the 19th century on the Acropolis in Athens, where she was originally displayed. Now, up until the 19th century, Greece had been under Ottoman occupation, which meant that the Greek and Roman statues that were best known to people were those that had been found in Italian soil and were largely in Italian collections. People didn't know that Greek sculpture could look like this. Greek sculpture was classical sculpture. It was naturalistic sculpture. This doesn't look like that. It's frontal, it's stiff. It's very much still of the block. But arguably, that's her power, as is the stylization in her hair and in her frock and in her makeup and in her jewelry. Statues male equivalents at this time were nude, largely, and their power was very much in their physiques, whereas her power is in her dress. It's in her adornment. It's in this kind of look at me modesty. It's also, of course, in her pigment. Up until the late 18th century, and indeed sometimes beyond that, Whenever a statue was found in the ground, it was immediately whisked off to the restorer's studio and it was scrubbed of all of its colour to make it shiny white. In some senses, it was the fashion for plaster casts, a fashion that had been live since the 16th century, that kind of fueled this aesthetic for whiteness. Whiteness, of course, then bringing with it a politics of purity that we now associate with the classical antique, um, something that is kind of difficult and, of course, dangerous. It is modernity that has created this sense of a whitewashed Greece. In fact, had we gone back there into the 5th century BC, we would find that the Greeks lived in glorious technicolour. Now, our cast of the Petplos Corre was painted up because the original has, as it was found in the late 19th century, um, pigment still very much on it. And so in the 1970s, one of my predecessors here at Cambridge, Robert Cook, actually painted up this cast to give us all a stronger sense of what these sculptures originally looked like. Now, of course, like every act of restoration, it is an act of imagination. So I can't tell you for definite that her dress was painted like this. And in fact, there are alternative reconstructions out there, but it gives you a stronger sense of her original feel. As well as her color, the other restoration that you're looking at here is her arm. If you were to see the statue in the New Acropolis Museum in Athens, she is missing that bit. What we don't know is who it is we're looking at. Whether we're looking at a worshipper to the God who is coming, bringing a cult offering and in a sense offering herself up at the same time to the viewer, or whether actually she should rather have been holding, say, a bow or something like that, in which case you'd be looking at the statue of the God herself. What I can say is that were she put back onto the Acropolis in the sixth century BC, together with all sorts of other statues like her but not like her, in similarly beautiful frocks but different frocks, in different materials, different scales and sizes, then it is the crowd of those statues together that would have created a sense of wonder. Mm -hmm.